name's Rack, I'm a coach, and welcome to another holiday special sample. Yeah! Oh. Meet Scout. You'll remember Scout. Scout, aka exclamation, aka my mod, aka nice guy. Anyway, this is one of the final VODs that you'll probably see. There's probably about, well, not very, not very many left, but this is one of the final VODs you'll see on the holiday special. By the time these are released, unfortunately, it'll probably be past the date that you can actually submit for this special. But I want to thank everyone that sent in VODs. You are all absolutely bloody awesome. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, this special that I gave away as a means of trying to stay happy over the holiday break. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I met a lot of new people. A lot of people were really happy with this. So, yeah, a lot of new great things to, to do in the new year. And I hope you are all hanging around for the streams, for the content, and for the laughs. So, yeah. If you're looking for more information on that or you're brand new and you want to know what this is all about, if you go into the description and join the Discord, you can come see my coaching community and yeah, where we uh, sit here and provide great mentorship to all all players of any game, any walk of life. So yeah, hope to see you all there. Anyway, Scout is, I have, uh, let me just double check because it changed recently. He is ranked Silver 2. This is support and of course he loves playing Zenyatta, so actually we're going to oblige that on Colosseo of all places the lord okay big problem with Colosseo is that there are way too many walls and they all just will continuously block the uh, the line of sight of you trying to keep discord orb on a target but hopefully this goes all right what do you break and oh, wait hang on oh, he changed his mind hang on we're back to Kiriko <laughs> we got the Kiriko goodness Kiriko is much better for this because we can fire off some good ones down the line. I don't know why we use that. You're going to end up needing that momentarily. Either way, keep throwing him out there. Because now you're going to be stuck with this issue because obviously changing late was one thing, but spending Isuzu in advance might have been a slightly problematic issue. You got to remember, with the angle that you're on, you're going to have a very hard time being able to actually fire like over the area. You want to try and be in this area so you can actually shoot down this way, because it makes it much easier for you to actually get a line, and you can use the walls to keep blocking off, uh, like to keep cover. All your teammates are like not even taking damage at the moment. We should be very much trying to get some damage out of there. Now you can heal him. But there should be some damage pressure coming out. We're not seeing any of that happening at the moment. That Zuzu is essentially wasted because there's no, not even a threat there. That's when Zuzu would have been handy to keep them alive before they got pressured out. You gotta remember, like your healing is going to be amazing even since the nerf. So you want to always be able to put down as much damage pressure in between all those throws. Because as long as it actually magnetizes to a target, you will get all that healing output without any trouble. So you want to try and get as much done as possible. It will be very easy to do. Now, in saying that, you're not going to stop him from getting his head taken off. But also you trying to be that level of aggressive without hitting those shots is very painful. The moment you take that first shot, you should just shadow step out. There's no point in risking it and you're in such a bad spot there that you're just going to get cleaned up Time to try again. get that shadow step out never mind I think all your team is still coming back to life there's no point in charging forwards you got to try and aim it like you're aiming sort of like Genji Shuriken Rough's at roughly the same speed, it's just that you have to be able to just keep in mind that it is still a projectile and at mid-range, you moving away as you're doing that shot is, is something that you can't lead out and it only makes it harder for you to hit that shot. The one thing a lot of people seem to do as well as Kiriko is they always seem to be following the hand rather than their cursor, so they get very confused about that. It might be time to ulti along the line... Never mind your teammates. No, never mind, you won it already, it's fine. That went better than expected. Robot's gone. There you go. At least when they come in for this next fight, you'll be able to drop Kitsune over the fight here. So hopefully this turns out well. I'm a little nervous about how you're going to play this out. I'm ready for it, though. I'm not a fan of you like not paying attention to the open area though, because you're not utilizing that cover, you're just getting caught out. Get ready to ult you. Good shot. Should have done that earlier. 
you got to notice the damage that's being taken in advance, but we're remembering, at least we're remembering to do the stuff. Yeah, good. Keep churning it out. Now fire. Fire, 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 fire. That's unfortunate. I wouldn't say this is a particularly good use of ulti because no one else was actually here to fight it. But I was saying, like, have a look out to get ready to use it because there would definitely have been a moment when they might have engaged, but they just kept waiting out there. I say you would have been better off shadow stepping rather than throwing the Suzu at range. Because at least if you shadow step and drop the Suzu below you, it's faster. Because you, you travel faster than the other thing does. That was unfortunate. <laughs> just getting clapped like that. I don't know how you ended up positioned so far over. Because you could have just shadow step. I think you could have shadow stepped back, right? By the time it came back around. Hang on. Let's see. If you wait by this wall. And then give it a second. Yeah, you can shadow step down, but you're taking the long way back. There'd be a chance that it might have worked out better, but it's fine. The big gripe that you're running into at the moment is that there, are, like, there is a bit of a bottleneck on the point. You don't have the numbers there anyway, so you were going to die anyway. It's just more of a matter of trying to see if you can take anything back uh, percentage-wise for like your ultimate or for anyone else's ultimate on your team. The big problem is that because you haven't hit that midway point, you know, you're still on long spawn. So you shouldn't be trickling in one by one at this point. You should be waiting. Don't help him. Please don't help him. Don't go to him. Just die. Just let him die. I'm going to say, unless you hit the double kunai to the back of his head, it's not going to be worth it. You can hear him. Shot. Bit surprised I hit him in the head, but that's okay. We take those. That is a fucking good pick, and that is going to mean good things for you. I understand the the, the use that you were going for there. It's just unfortunate you did not hit. Come on, hit those shots. Come on, I believe in you. Shot. Can't help anyone from there though. You're trying to do that in a quick motion, and you're, it's causing you to overshoot that each time. Just take your time and just get ready to like to just. Put, tap your mouse down so that you can look down as you land and you'll be able to like instantly suzu the floor there's no high ground up there by the way so you'd be purely just okay you'd be purely just relying on him to come out around the corner standard way nice suzu unfortunately no one else is really there to benefit from it and you are in a horrible spot is she close to it no not even close dead just, just stand on the point and stall it. Just stand on the point and stall it. You don't need to run away. You just need to die. Oh, hang on. If this actually results in it... Wait. Is this going to be a big brain play? You're getting shot in the back, by the way, in case you're not aware. This isn't a particularly big brain play. Just remember that 9 times out of 10, the amount of time wasted on running away on a push map and then dying anyway is actually just not worth it. Although this is going to turn out nicely for you because Kiriko Reaper is disgustingly OP. So well done. Oh, hang on. Free pick. They waited there for ages. That's actually a sick, huge pick. That's okay. So now you can take the point back to the end. Because don't forget, the big problem with the push map is that you obviously spend so much time having to make the point get all the way back there. Once it gets to this sort of area, you actually just want to win the fight. That was sick. Well done. You actually played that perfectly. But yeah, you want to make sure that you actually get to the point where, like, it's going to take that time to make it back to the point each time. Like, back to the push point. So that time wasted actually means that you've got time to actually make the best of it. You really should just shadow step there, dude. Like, if you're standing in the open like that, as Kiriko, and you still have the shadow step cooldown available, you're just inting. you got to move. you got to use that to your advantage. Yeah, if you have Shadow Step available, you should never be taking that that amount of time to just walk across areas. That's just such a such a like big pain in the ass. What you did there was the correct way to to do this, the Shadow Step Stuzu, which is good. But the problem is that uh, even in this position you're in now, it's not actually worth being in this position to be stuck like this. It is unfortunate that he ran away. I won't blame you for that one. 
But the big problem is that, yeah, like, you're already staggered in advance taking this fight. It's not worth it. You want to win this fight here. If you win when the when the the point is neutral, rather than waiting for it to come back to you, you actually have a chance to win it back. But you don't have that because you don't have the numbers, and that problem is only going to be harder to work with. So you're just going to keep stalling, which is okay for the timer, just purely because it will get you, at least it will get you the ability to actually hold the point. And they won't be able to push ahead of you. But yeah, you've lost forward spawn now. Just shout us that to him if you're scared. If you're scared about being killed here, good. That's what you should have done the last time, but we made it here this time. I would ulti this if I were you, if you want to stop them on that spot. I'm not a fan of the angle, but at least it's on the point, so that's okay. Good, well played. See, if it was facing downwards towards the road, you actually would still be able to get a little bit more value out of it, but that's okay. Come on, hit that. Hit it. Yeah, close enough. Got her in the shin. It's okay. Just remember, every time you move, the projectile will, like, essentially have a different trajectory from where you're standing. So you got to be mindful of that. It's a projectile. It's not hit scan. So you have to... You'll, you will have to lead the shot based on the movement you're making there. Again in the open, dude. Stop it. Stop it. If you are in an open area and you and you have shadow step available and you have not shadow stepped away from that open area to get safe, you are inting. Dear lord, what why? At least you came away safe from that, but it's not a good idea to have been caught in that position in the first place. I mean, this is still a win that you can take from this, despite that, right? Like, you get the point to you get the point to here, and you get completely cleaned up because like none of you have abilities available, and they have ultimates, and they've caught you out. Like, this isn't bad, right? Dying here. What you want to be able to do though is to have your ultis built so you can actually hold a point out later on. You're hitting the shots, which is good. It's the problem is that you are definitely moving away from each shot, so that's why it's just missing. You got to, You have to compensate for that movement each time, and it'll make your your actual hitting of the shots easier. Like you, you sort of do it decently with Zenyatta because you've got more shots to fire at closer range. But because the problem is that there is a slightly longer delay between each shot, and you're moving more, you're not really prepared for it, and you're not really like savvy on that. You just got to be aware of it. Remember, the Reaper does have his ulti, and you should be able to be in there to help him. And except now you've just spent the Susie to try and help him stay alive rather than anything else, and that's a bit shit. That's a good ulti though, sort of. Come on, kill that. Kill the f yep, cool. Whoa. Somehow you got hit by that and no one else? That's a bit weird. Yeah, the Suzu use just makes that so much harder to manage if you don't use it at the right time because now you're not going to be able to hold the point. Good, good escape. Don't forget, all you have to do is just make sure they come off the point. So you don't have to spend anything. You just have to stay alive and not do anything stupid for the time being. Just remember, if you have to get out, you have to get out the safe way, not the silly way. Ulti? You had the idea, but you should have just ultied and then just looked around to jump out if necessary, because I think the only person that was near was Diva. At least you've still got time, though. Because they still have to actually push back. You just have to make sure you don't loot. You don't. You just want to hang on to those ultis for a little longer. Because if you at least use it alongside the Reaper, you'll be in a good spot. Looks like he's asleep. That's... Yeah, you got Suzu, that's fine. You didn't have anyone else there though, I wouldn't say that was a good idea. You should have waited until they got around the corner and you had friends. Uh, this is what panic looks like. This is where pushback brings out the worst in people because it makes them do the same shit over and over again. Oh, I just gotta hit those shots. Just gotta hit the shot. Hit the shot. It's alright, someone finished it off for you. Because now, yeah, now they've got to do the long run, right? So you've actually got the time to actually win this back. 
This is why those little victories kind of matter over the course of the fight, because they can't make it back now. So you win. Dear Lord, what a mess. What an absolute mess. But yeah, that's like that's a, an example, right? Where like you've got the right idea playing playing the character, but the problem is that like you you do something that's like slightly early, slightly late, or you have to panic because of something else that's happening, or like you know you try to do the the step and you accidentally throw the suzu over your target rather than just throwing it down because you're not used to the, like the movement there. Those sorts of things are going to happen a lot with Kiriko because Kiriko is a very different sort of sort of ball game that you have to learn with and play. And I'm not saying like, you know, oh, you're bad at Kiriko, just fucking learn it. But it's more like those little nuanced things are going to be like mechanically things you'll just come up with over time, right? And that's fine. But the the problem that you're running into is that you're going to consistently get to a point where you're going to like headbutt the wall with like when's a good time to use X and Y, especially on push maps. And the big thing is that like almost no point during this entire thing where people grouped up with you when you, when you ultied and all of those ulties were literally sent into the nearest wall rather than covering enough of an area so that the fight could continue and people could utilize their advantage by you know using movement and such that issue became very prevalent on each time you used your ultimate because you were just using it in all these cramped spots there were too many moments where like it, you kind of approached a fight thinking that everything was fine had no one with you and didn't realize it until it was too late so it just caused you to get collected by all these like random shots or you had to find yourself flanking or you got into awkward 1v1 situations now don't get me wrong like you've got the right idea with like picking off other people with your with your shots and so on and so forth it naturally needs work the aiming like tip i have for you is like you realize that it is a projectile and you are moving a lot you have to compensate for that minor amount of movement because you're basically just shooting right past their head like right past it and you want to aim chest neck level so you can like have that chance but you have to be very mindful of just the amount of sort of work that's going into that and it's only going to be made harder if you keep ugh, if you keep stepping away from each shot because it's going to go just off to the left or just off to the right people get really caught up like looking at where the hand's going rather than where their cursor is so they get really like awkwardly like they get like really awkward sort of muscle memory of where they're shooting it gets really hard to work with there, so just keep that in mind. Happens a lot with um I don't know if this happens to you, but like one thing that like stumped a lot of students originally and like me especially when I started playing the game was people get really enamored by the the bracket that appears around a target. Hang on. So just as an example. Uh, if I just go to you now. So like that sort of this this uh, thing around it, people get fixated on that because it pops up instead of looking at where their curse, cursor is, and that's why they miss so much. When people get to that point, you have to just remember that like that icon is just going to appear each time you try to uh, al like align on an enemy. It happens a lot with Zenyatta, like when you try to discord orb an enemy, and you're like looking at the center of that rather than the center of where you're like aiming, and you're just thinking, yeah, I'm on that point, like the curse is there, but it's not. So. To help your muscle memory, you have to make sure that you're always like lined up to your target and always like keeping those shots in place because a lot of them are just like they're just veering off to the side each time and you just have to be very careful with that. Either way, hope everyone enjoyed this episode of The Sample. My name is Rec9. I will see you all in the very near future. Uh, don't forget, if you're just getting here for the first time, all the information about my coaching is in the description below. So definitely come through and have a peek at that if you're interested in getting some coaching. So yeah, love you all folks.